Hey everybody, Tokusa here, and welcome back to another My Hero Ultra Impact video. So for those that do not know, it has actually been one entire year since Inasa has released an entire game. So, uh, I feel like this is a unit that was underappreciated, right? You read his kit, and it can seem underwhelming, but honestly, from, I mean, I, I'm being very biased here, but I actually have had pretty good usage out of this character. Uh, he is very good for E-Tower. I think he's going to be a staple on that, you know, in V-Tower for as long as it can go on. And I do think he's got some value in PvP, right? So, basic route is done. Peace route. I never got to the final board because it's very expensive. And I did get a dupe of this character, which is why I have advanced skills up. But if we briefly go over his kit, right? Like, I'm not going to go, like, through each line. But this AoE, his plus ultra, it's not an AoE, but it gives a dodge to the entire team. This action skill gives him the ability to dodge, right? This is a good AoE attack that, you know, can bleed and relies on speed. This character has 30% more speed when he's above 50% health. And then when he's a static, uh, which he has when he's above 50% uh, health, he has increased defenses, right? So you roll some good speed on him. And this character is essentially going to shine pretty well. So I'm excited to go visit this character. Uh, just test him out in PvP, see if he can still hold his own. But before we do that, I have 500 gems. Uh, and I, I made a video already on should you summon for El Chaco. And I do state pretty heavily that you should not. But I also do state that if for my specific situation, because I do showcases and stuff, every time I earn 500 gems, which I just got a bunch from completing the uh, Climax battle, because all for one is back out, I will do a multi. But I will not spend any real currency or real in income on this game whatsoever, especially for this character, just mainly for this character. Of course, I am pay to play. I do play. I do pay to, you know, get certain characters. But for characters like this, I just don't think it's very necessary. Uh, I just don't think she has sp uh, enough value. Let's see if we get a good outfit. No, unfortunately not. Uh, in other areas for her to really shine. Like, she can be used in niche VE Tower scenarios, but outside of that, PvP being like the heaviest you know, portion of the content in this game, I just, I don't see any place of a home for her in there. Unless the next seven units that come out are all red. <laughs> Which I don't see happening. Fake out? No fake out. So, unfortunately the multi is looking like a nothing, but that's okay. Hopefully get a feature memory for the event. That would be cool. Does not look like it at all. So this is another indication. Y'all see my luck right now? Do not summon, but I figured I would throw that out there because I said I would. And I usually leave that to the end of the video, but I figured I'll just toss out the multi now. Uh, anyways, so that's how that went. We're going to hop into some PvP fights now and just kind of go over how I think Inasa is going to perform. Uh, so this is the team. Pretty straightforward. I run two of the best supports around him. You can make any unit look that good. But I feel like this is going to work best for him because him going first is quite important, especially for speed being a part of the situation, right? Uh, and to capitalize on that, we are going to run Dulce Summertime on him. Uh, I'm only pulling it up just so I can show you the, the EX auto skill I have on this. So, of course, Dulce Summertime gives 40% speed if there's a female character on the team, which is very easy with Momo. Uh, and then I have 17% speed for purple units with this memory on, so 57% speed just from the memory. Uh, Compressed is also running Dulce Summertime, so I'll probably, you know, swap between the two. And then I have Momo, of course, just kind of uh being also pretty quick because i do have this on her because uh compress is on the team i have two units that lower action skills so i don't have to run a uh, strong battle formation on her of course now the good speed memory for those that don't know you can get this in usj shop and then i have 20 percent speed on this memory so very quick team and hopefully a lot of the scenarios or situations we are going first <laughs> at least that's what i'm banking on because if we're not going first we're probably in some trouble uh, anyways, I'm just gonna hop in. I don't know if I'm gonna do any, like, edits in between. This might just be one big run. Oh, I don't know. We'll decide. I don't know why I tell you all that, but I like to talk a lot, so. Uh, yeah. That's kind of just what I'm thinking. I think I might just make it one big clean run. Uh, play the Plus Ultra animations once, and then just kind of do a bunch of fights. Mainly because I want to grind up a bunch of, uh, ranking, because I did not make Elite, or Legends rank last season, just because I was gone on vacation. So, I want to capitalize this on it this time and hopefully get up there so we will play it once and then after that i probably will just have that on skip and just kind of speed run a bunch of attempts with the nasa here and yeah hopefully we prevail here so we do have red aizawa very interesting do we get any bounds i think so i heard it i heard the noise but we did get celebrations todoroki so the boy's already not looking too great uh now and aizawa is going to dodge a bunch but that's nothing to really worry about now, I am going to switch it up. I am going to, uh... 
hide compress and have him attack third because he does have Dulce Summertime, right? So I want to make sure that he's also getting full usage out of that. And then I don't mind hiding compress and not Inasa because Inasa can dodge, right? So him having that ability to dodge there is really, really good for us. And yeah, it just kind of puts us in the driver's seat, right? Have a unit that can dodge, then have a unit that can hide, that can also give damage reduction. He can also have his defense for himself. I just think it's going to work really, really well. And the reason you saw Todoroki just fall there is because of the bleed. Can't underestimate that bleed, man. That bleed's good. 36k, not the craziest damage, but it did give dodge to the whole team. And to me, that is quite important, right? Uh, so, we're looking pretty good. Now, of course, the biggest counter over there, as you have probably figured out already, is Bakugo, because Bakugo has permanent bullseye. So we do need to get rid of this unit. So, uh, let's see what we can do here. Is this the way I want to do it? Or do I want to try to bind him? Now, this is the way I want to do it. I think this is smarter. So we'll do that. And hopefully there's some crazy damage. Not bad. We got rid of Deku and Night Eye. I'll definitely take that. Besides, he's going after Compress anyways. But yeah, the extra defense, the damage reduction from Compress, the health regen, max HP from Momo. I feel like the team's going to do very well, right? Look at that damage. That's beautiful, beautiful damage. And just like that, pretty easy W first fight. Now, keep in mind, I'm well aware that I have a very strong supportive cast around Inasa. So he's going to look a lot better than, you know, other people that have Inasa, right? They probably can't run the same supportive cast. But keep in mind, my Inasa, though he is duped up, so I have the advanced leveling, he's still only level 100. And I don't have any... Do I have other stuff on the Peace Road? Done? I actually don't know the answer to that. Uh, we will fight Jonah next, just because I haven't fought Jonah before. Uh, actually, I'm going to go check that, because I don't, I don't know the answer to that question, actually. I'm going to assume I did go up the Peace Road a little bit, but I can't quite remember. Okay, yeah, I did go all the way until the next unlock level limit. So, I do have a, uh, extra stats that, you know, other players don't have, unless you were able to get a dupe of this character as well. So, mine is going to look a bit stronger than others, but... Outside of that, he is only level 100, and so is Compressed. And Compressed does not have any dupes into him whatsoever. So he has no advanced... He has no advanced leveling, right? Uh, no, he doesn't, so... Uh, he is a single copy, so... I mean, in hindsight, you could almost have the same team. Now, of course, my Momo was 130, which is a big difference. Uh, but I do think Momo is a necessity for your team. I feel like she's someone that you should definitely go for. Hey, Compress and Gen Dialogue. That's something I haven't seen before. Okay. But you could probably run the same team, and you could see how valuable Inos is, because I do think he is insanely good. Now, of course, in this fight here, we're not fighting the most meta-dividing players. I didn't, wasn't really looking at the team until, uh, I'll be honest, I wasn't looking at the team at all. I just saw the name, the battle power underneath. But then I saw the Getin, uh, <laughs> uh, the dialogue between him and Compress, and then I started to realize this probably isn't the most meta team out there. But I like it, I like it. Giving other characters that don't typically get shine, I am always uh, going to be on their team. I think that's great. I think that's huge. So Purple and Compress, or Endeavor, is out of here. And now we'll just probably... Well, it doesn't really matter. They all have dodge, but... Now I turn off plus ultra animations, because we've already seen it. And we just kind of go on with it today. Uh, I don't know. I've used Nazi quite a bit, though. I usually like to run him as Seiji, just because, of course, they're both from the same school. But... Um, in this scenario, I don't think I'm going to do that. I think this is just his overall better team. If Anasa could hide, if he could hide, then that, then him and Seiji combo would be disgusting. Because Seiji has a, uh, a DX skill, when he's like UR+, plus or SR+, plus, I should say, that gives extra crit rate to uh, his high school, which would have been Anasa. So that could have been a lot of fun, but... Uh, yeah, I just don't think it's as valuable to run them beside each other. I don't think it's really run uh, super valuable to run anybody beside Seiji unless both units hide, right? Because I think in that case, then you can really start to, like, be... You know, you can look at Seiji as, like, a high-end character because, well, then you have to purposely go for Seiji outside of AoEs. I mean, you're still hitting him. And uh, then you always have the chance to land Meat Lump. So that's where I think Seiji really shines. Which is why, I've said it a hundred times, but my Momo and Lady Nagant team... My favorite team, for a reason. Because Seiji's in the middle, takes all the hits, and just kind of cooks from there. Alright, we will fight Pesto next, because I don't know Pesto, actually. I like fighting uh, players that haven't I haven't fought before, right? So, 498,000 battle power. I think I saw Ida, and... Was it Karashima? I know Fantasy will Oh, it's not. Celebration will Oh, Jiro. Okay, Jiro's going to be tough, right? Because 
The thing with this team is, is Jiro is kind of like Celebrations Deku. And just kind of heal forever. So, we'll see how this goes. Get the bind on anybody? Probably not, because of Jiro. Good crit there, though. That was some... It's very satisfying. I always... I have a soft spot for units that when their AoEs do multiple hits. It's just way more satisfying to me than a singular hit. Outside of Tokiyami to go over it. But, yeah. I just find it... It's just so... It's just satisfying. I just love it. It's just so <laughs> nice hearing all the crit hit marks and everything. It's just like... This is that extra touch that I'll always just give me the for. Which is why Blue Endeavor is one of my favorite units to watch. That unit can just go crazy. Nice dodge there for Compress and Momo, so they don't have to get affected by that stun. And now Ida, being the second fastest unit here, which is really, really good for us. I actually have two units faster than Ida. Even though we're not going to hit Ida, uh, he is going to give dodge to the whole team. And that's all that matters to me. Give me dodge to the whole team, please. Now Ida's going to get dodge himself again. So unfortunately, I won't be able to do anything about that. But at least we can get rid of it with the normals. And then have Inasa go crazy with AoEs here, so... Uh, Ida being kind of annoying, but honestly, I feel like right here, he's going to take a tremendous amount of damage. <laughs> I really do so. And we bound Jiro. And look at that! Do you see what I mean? You give Inasa a little bit of time to cook, and I just took all them out in one turn. 498,000 battle power. This is this team is no joke that I'm fighting right now. That was absurd damage. Absurd. This still does pretty good damage to Kirishima because he scales up speed. And unfortunately, uh, Karashim is not going to really be able to be uh, killed in this next turn because he is going to have cover for two turns. But still, we'll give the team dodge, so we can't really be affected by anything else. So. We're looking pretty good here. We're looking like we're in the driver's seat for this fight. So as I said, Karashima can't really be affected. Even with Bound, he's, like, indestructible. But we can take out Fantasy of Chocolate here because... You know what? I'm going to go second with Inasa because I just want to see how much damage himself can do to... Uh, Fantasy or a rocket here. Let's see what you got. Oh, that would have crit. I feel like we would have taken her out on one go. But that's okay. But yeah, so far, very good. The character is performing exactly how I was hoping he would, so very happy with everything so far. And yeah, I just think the team. I mean, any Momo Compress combination is always like one of the deadliest teams out there. Like for full 100, this is probably one of his, if not his best team. You could argue Compress over Red Aizawa. Uh, I honestly would probably lean towards Compress, but it's it's either or. I think both work tremendously well. But yeah, I hope you're getting an idea. Inasa is a year old, and like a lot of these units, especially after like I want to say like Dobby, uh, you can there's a lot of value out of all of them. Now, obviously, some units do a lot better at, like, UR+, Plus, like Shoji is another, is a really good example of that. Like, he is night and day from UR+, Plus, but outside of him and, like, a couple others, maybe, he, these general pool units have been super good. They have been top tier, and you can still use them to this day. As you're seeing with the Inasa, it's not like my is my UR+, Plus, right? He's level 100, essentially, with, with some dupe stats into him. Uh, and it just, I don't know. I hope you're all seeing that he still can absolutely destroy here. Look at that. That's one turn. That was turn one. And they're already fighting for the lives over there. I've just obliterated that one unit. And now I can... I don't think I can take out Obakuville here. Which is why I'm going to go for Midori and just make sure he's absolutely done. And the nice thing about Inasa too is, is all his attacks hit multiple times. So when you have Last Stand, uh, it's not as valuable... For units that can do multiple hits for action skill, right? Because last stand only lasts for two hits. And then the third one you're, you're essentially done for. Inasa's, both his action skills, they definitely hit more than twice. I'm going to tell you all that right now. So, Last stand is not as valuable as, you know, it would be when you're fighting units that only have one attack, right? So, and now they're a nice little upside to Inasa, which I, you know, I'll, I'll credit this unit any way I can. I'm a big fan of it. I've always liked his design, his character in the show, uh, just yeah, everything about him. I've always thought he was cool. Right? I always just like those, like those anime ideas, like the other uh, character that comes from a different side of the city or another country, even right, uh, just being really dominant and whatnot, and just being one of Todoroki's rivals. I don't know. It was cool. I've always liked the character. He's a little crazy, uh, but either way, I still like him. So, but yeah, as you're seeing in terms of the game. The boy is cooking. He's doing very, very well. And, uh... Hey, Expert 2! 
We're, we're moving up. It's slow, but we're moving up there. Uh, he's doing very good, though. Well, since we moved up in rank, this won't be the same super battle, so let's hop into another one. Uh, but then after this, I'll probably try to fight, like, if there is, like, a really high meta-defining team with really crazy battle power, I'll try to make that the final fight, but... Sugar Rocket here. Ooh, okay, okay. I actually want to be... I'm going to be revisiting this unit, too. His, his, uh... Uh, yearly, you know... His one-year-old anniversary is coming up soon, so... Uh, I'll be looking forward to that. Get rid of the dodge there, so he knocks him go crazy. Which is exactly what he does with crits. Them crits are just beautiful. I am always on that team crit side. Alright, so... Get rid of the dodge and Ida, which is really good. We should still be... Oh, we're definitely faster with Sugar Rocky plus Ultra. Let's see if we can take out Sugar Rocky here. It's because that plus Ultra can fear... And there we go. I didn't want to deal with it. So there we go. And I didn't think we had the firepower to get rid of Inasa, or Ida here, so. Um, yeah. So far, I mean, of course, it's not like the most insane team we're fighting here, but still pretty high-end team. Of course, we got some fantasy characters, celebration characters. So overall, I still think we're doing very good here. Oh, I thought we could have done it. I thought we could have done it there. Oh, but the bleed gets him! I was trying to figure out what the heck has happened. And once again, I mean, I, I know I sound like a broken record, but this is, you're seeing just in the opponents I fight, the value of Momo is just, it's, it's unrivaled, right? A lot of these units would still be alive. I don't even know if I would have KO'd anybody if Momo was on their team, right? I just think Momo's is the best character to ever come out. I, I do mean that. Well, for PvP, I don't even think it's remotely close. So... If Momo does return, I do think uh, you should summon. I do think if you play a lot of PvP, uh, yeah, I think it's a, mess. it's a necessity. I just think she's too good. She is way too good. She has way too much value. And here's another a really important thing about dodge, right? Somebody like uh, that has you know persistence that doesn't have bullseye like full 100 does. I mean, I mean, we did bound him there, so I mean that's not very fair. But if I didn't bind. Uh, Fantasy Decker here, he could crush my team. But Inasa having two ways to dodge himself and then giving dodge to the whole team is insane. It's it's broken, right? So, there we go. Another nice W there for Mr. Inasa. Of course, once again, great supporting cast, but he's carrying the damage. He's doing all the damage for my team. And yeah, he's looking good. Still to this day, is looking very, very good, so I'm happy. So you probably didn't see what just happened because I edited it, but... Uh, uh, I was just fighting Rex as a final fight. I feel like this is a very viable team. And of course, as soon as we as soon as we do our first action skill change, it just crashes. Uh, but that's okay. Uh, same team. Uh, main reason I want to fight this is Momo. I think Ochako Nezure is a crazy combo. We have uh, Fantasy Eyeswell coming off the bench, which could be a problem. And then Fantasy Suit to wrap it up. I feel like just overall, this is a really solid team. So, kind of wanted to see how Inasa does against a, like more like high-end meta team setup, so I uh, feel like this should be good. And we'll just see what they have, right? Good. I'm really glad we did not bind anybody, because I did not want to replicate what happened in the previous fight, so that's really good for us. Uh, I mean, I yeah, I wanted to replicate exactly what happened when I did this first fight. I didn't want to bind anybody. I feel like that would have been just too unfair, so I'm happy this is the way it played out. Now, I wonder if we can take out Nezure. Okay, this is literally exactly the last, the way the last fight went. Uh, okay. Which is good, which is good. I didn't want any, like, changes. This is, now it's pretty much, uh, the exact same. I know I, I just said earlier, I only did one action skill, but I know I did two. And I know I did not get to these plus ultras. Now everything's a mystery to me. Okay, let's see what we got. Dodge for the whole team, which is huge. Down to nothing? But I think their Momo's plus altering. Oh, their Nezure is also plus altering. Oh, and it's probably going to KO'd by normals. Okay, I'll take that. That's a nice early KO there. Uh, now... Well, I mean, we're just doing AOEs. It's not that big of a deal. The press isn't going to bind uh, Ochako or Momo because they're dodging. But this AOE's going to hit him. Oh, if that would have crit. Oh, we got rid of Fantasy... Fantasy Aizua, just like that, huh? I'm telling you, Inasa hits incredibly hard. And uh, I feel like he's a unit that others should try out again. I feel like... I feel like he gets too much... Uh, I don't even want to say hate. Just not enough love. And I do think he is quite good, so. Now, of course, I'm only expert, too. I'd have to test this unit out in Legends rank to really get a good idea for him. But uh, until I get up there, y'all gonna have to deal with this. This is the best you're gonna get, so. Plus Ultras, and let's see what we can do to clean up here. 
Good damage from Minasa, 62k. But dodge to the whole team as well, right? I will definitely take that. It's just a mini, a mini Nezure. I love it. Um, let's do compress first. Try to get them down as low as possible so Yanasa can just I, potentially KO both of them right here. Oh, especially with them crits at the end? Oh, what a way to end it. I don't know. I don't know. I'm pretty happy with how everything went there. And let's see how all the fights did damage-wise, right? So I feel like they were pretty good, so. Um, battle log. Huh. I guarantee you I was mid-fight with uh, Rex Luffus here. I was literally already fighting him, and then it crashed. So the, it's weird that it doesn't show, like, an attack loss. Strange. Either way, I'll take it. Uh, so Jonah was the first fight. Inasa doing 275k. Uh, and then Pesto. This was a bit longer fight. 550. And then... Jar I just realized all these... Everybody but the final fight doesn't have celebra uh, celebrations Momo. <laughs> I feel like everybody here could be absurdly better. Uh, just with her. I'm telling y'all. Summon for her. I, I mean, like, I know I'm, a lot of people probably don't want me saying that. Because then the fights get long and much more annoying and much more troubling. But I, I want everybody to succeed. That's, that's the kind of person I am. So, get Celebrations Momo. And it'll be a much more in, in difficult fight for everybody. And it'll make your team so much better. I promise y'all. Anyways, uh, Inoxo performed very well here. Uh, I'll definitely have to revisit him towards maybe in Legends rank and whatnot. To really get a good feel for him. But still, overall, I think he did phenomenal. I am a big fan of this character, and uh, of course I'm being probably a bit biased here, but I do think he is very good for PvP. I'm not saying like SS tier or anything crazy, but I do think he is very viable. I think he can have his usage for sure, and you know, outside of maybe Celebrations Bakugo, I think this com unit can compete with everybody, especially with the right supporting cast. I think he is just that good. Uh, anyways, that'll be it for this one. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed the content. If you did summon for Ochako, best of luck. I hope you got her, add in the memory or whatever you're chasing. But until then, until the next one, take care. And yeah, focus out.